Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a three-step sales funnel with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to install WooCommerce because Cutflows works with WooCommerce and Cutflows is the plugin that we're going to be using for our funnels. All right, so to do that, you want to come over here to plugins, click on uh, add new. And then over here, you want to search for WooCommerce, hit enter. And you can see here, this is WooCommerce. It's been installed on over 5 million websites. All right, so as you can see, this is WooCommerce and it has been installed on over 5 million installations. Okay, next you want to hit activate. Okay, so now we're good to go. The next step now is to install Cartflows. So I'm going to come over here and same thing. I'm going to search for it. And here it is. In your case, you need to click on install. And I can see activate here because... I already installed it. So I'm going to hit activate to activate this plugin. And now we have both of them set. The next step now is to create a product in WooCommerce. So I'm going to come over here, click on all products. So what we're going to do is to create a free product. So I'm going to click here on add new and I'm going to say free download. So that's going to be my product. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down here. So for this example, I'm just going to make it free. So I'm going to click here on virtual and downloadable. And then on the regular price here, I'm going to set this to zero. And then I'm also, since this is a downloadable, I'm also going to add the file over here. So I'm going to click add file, choose file. And I can now go to my computer here. And in my media library, I can just look for the zipped file that I need to give away for downloading. So this could be, you know, things like templates and so on that you want to give away for free or even eBooks. Okay, so what I'm going to do, since I don't have a zipped folder, I'm just going to use this image here as an example and then click on insert file. Okay, so that's the file they're going to get on the thank you page. So now that all this is set, the next step now is to just hit publish. So for Cutflows to work with Divi, what you need to do is to come over here to Divi and then click on theme options. I'm going to leave this page since I already saved it. And then I want to come over here to the builder and make sure steps is activated. So it's very important you activate steps and then now you can hit save changes. Now, the reason why we've just done this is because we want to make sure that the free templates you get with Cutflows are compatible with Divi. Okay, so now that we have all this set, the next step now is to head over to Cutflows. So I'm going to scroll all the way up here and then go on the Cutflows home. So this is the latest interface. This is what it looks like. So over here on settings, you want to make sure that you choose your ready template. So ready templates for you want to make sure you select Divi, click on save. And if you want to do a bit of tracking with Facebook or Google Analytics, you can just do that over here. You can just paste your code like that. So once you say enable, you can add your pixel ID and so on and then save. OK, so that is great. The next step now is to head over here now to flows. So let's save before we leave this page. Then I'm going to come over here to flows. OK, now we need to add our sales funnel. So I'm going to click here on add new. So this is where we can uh, build our sales funnels from scratch or we can use existing templates. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use uh, this one here, download ebook. So this is the template I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then I'm going to click on import flow. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call this one here free download and click import flow. OK, great. So you can see here we have download the ebook and we also have a thank you page. So to further customize this, we have to link all our products. So to do that, we need to go into edit to edit this uh, download the ebook page and this is going to be our landing page by the way so as you can see we can start editing this with divi but before we do that we need to connect the product the one that we created in woocommerce i'm going to come over here to products and then i'm going to search for it i'm sure we called it free something so there we go free download hit save settings and then you want to just come over here to settings and just make sure everything's okay here so we've got our opt-in form which is great so back over here on the design, this is where we can go in and edit with Divi. So I'm going to click here on edit with the Divi builder. So this is where we can go in and make all our changes. And this, as you can see, this is compatible with Divi. So that means we can go in and change our titles here. So let's say you want to get, of the get rid of the word boost. You can see it's updating in real time. 
okay if you want to change the colors you can go in here the background click on background and this is the color so we can play around with the colors here and change them and also if you want to get rid of uh, this divider we can just come over here and since this is the bottom we can just click here and we can either remove it altogether like that and then save and what we can also do here is we can also reduce this space here get rid of it by adding a negative margin so i'm going to come over here to design and spacing and we are going to set this to minus 100 and there we go that space is gone now that's great now over here you're going to notice that we don't really see our opt-in form here. It says, please place the short code, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this doesn't show yet, but once we save this, this is going to show. So now I am going to exit the visual builder, but I'm going to do this in a new tab. And now you can see we have this form. So it doesn't work when you're actually in the builder, but as soon as you leave the builder, this is, you know, the form. Fantastic. So what else can we do here? We want that when someone adds their name and email address here, they go to the thank you page and that is where they download their product. So I'm going to come back over here and click on flows, free download. Right. So we also have a thank you page here, which you can see. So we can also click on edit and customize it to however we want. So here we're going to click on edit with Divi. Okay, so like what I did before, I'm going to go in here and remove the divider on the bottom. Set it to none. Save that. And you can also change this text if you want to. You can add more modules. You can add a video, a thank you video, and so on. So it's up to you how you want to customize this. Oh, the other thing I forgot to do as well is to head over to design, spacing, and I want to add a negative margin here. I'm going to say negative 80 or even a negative 100, so that works fine too. Now, here is where we're going to have our shortcode, but at the moment it's not showing because we are in the builder. Okay, so we also have this section here where you can entice people to upgrade their membership or to upgrade to a higher level by clicking here. Okay, so this is if you want to upsell them to another product. So now I'm going to hit exit, but I'm going to do this in a new tab. And there we go. So right now it's saying order not found. And that is because we haven't filled in the form to uh, place our order. Okay. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to use. But what's even more interesting here is when we go back to our steps, uh, we can also add other steps. I'm going to click here on this plus button. And let's say you want to add an upsell or a checkout. You can also add a checkout by coming over here to checkout. And we have different designs here for the checkout. So let me go with this one here. Hit import and let's call this checkout import step. You can see here the checkout has been added and we can also go in and design this checkout page as we did with these two pages. So the point of this checkout page is once you, the, once they click here on the link that we had to upsell them to a product, this is the checkout page that will come to and they can buy the product from that. So it is very, very powerful and uh, easy to use. Now, adding a product here, you would do it like similar to how we did before with our products that we had. But what you could also do here is if you click on edit, we can also create a product on the fly. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to go over here to product and I'm going to click on create a product. OK, so this is where we can add a brand new product. So let's say this is a course. Now, I don't need to give it a description because we can always do that later on. And the price here could be, let's say, 197. It's a virtual product. Okay. So pretty much that's all I need to do here. I'm going to hit publish. And then I'm going to close out of here. Then I can save settings. So when it comes to the design, you can uh, come over here to the design. Edit with Divi. Okay, so similar to before, we can go in and delete sections that you don't need. So you can go in here and delete all of this. That. If you want, you can add images here. You can add videos on this checkout page. And right now, it's not showing because we are in the builder. So let's save this and exit. 
So I'm going to exit uh, the Visual Builder. Okay, so right now the product is not showing. So it looks like I need to go back and uh, fix that issue. Okay, so over here I'm going to assign my product. So here's my Mac course and product. Okay, so now it's added. So this should work fine. I'm going to click now on save settings. And then now when I refresh, you can see now that I have Mac course 197. And right now I haven't connected any payment gateways like PayPal or Stripe. So that's something that you may want to do as well. So let's go ahead and do it so I can show you exactly where you need to go. So I'm going to come over here to WooCommerce, click on settings. And over here now on payments, this is where you want to activate PayPal. So we have PayPal here. I'm going to activate it. But if you also have Stripe, you can also add the connection with Stripe. And it's also free. So Okay, so now that is active. I'm going to come over here on my checkout page and refresh the page. And now you can see we have PayPal. So once they come onto this checkout page, they proceed to PayPal. It's going to take them to the PayPal page. Okay, so that's looking great. So in order for you to customize this form, you're going to need Cardflows Pro because this one here is just the basics. And that allows you to customize all these. But of course, if you need to have all these fields, you can just leave it as it is. And this will work as good. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.